good wishes dear students in this class we will just have a quick revision of the formation of the layers of hexagonal close packing and a cubic close packing of close to packed structures you have learned about it detailly in the previous class there seems to be a little confusion among the students because i happen to use the same color ink to shade the different types of voids that is present so only in this class we will just see about the formation of the structures or of the formation of the different layers giving us the two types of packing one is a hexagonal close packing the other one is a cubic close packing now hexagonal close packing and a cubic close packing are result of the two types of voids found in a ab ab arrangement of category of atoms or ions or molecules what are the two types of voids found one is a tetrahedral void the other one is a octahedral void to understand these voids we need to have the knowledge of the work taking place in a three different layers in a ab ab arrangement in quick to see in layer 1 it creates the two types of voids so just a quick recap let's have it so the black color spheres now three rows of atoms i have taken so the black color sphere stands for the layer 1 so in a layer 1 how many rows do i have three rows i have got here if you can see two types of voids are present you have seen it already in the previous class the triangle that is facing upward I mean shaded by the red color stands for this type of void gives rise to tetrahedral void the ones that is shaded with a green color pointing downward this type of voids gives rise to octahedral void so layer 1 creates a two types of voids for you one giving rise to tetrahedral void the other one giving rise to octahedral void now is layer 2 what do we understand layer 2 tells us the difference between tetrahedral void and the octahedral void please remember i'm using the word here the red color space give i mean a void gives a uh, i mean it becomes a reason to form a tetrahedral void and the green color one to form a octahedral void the second layer we exactly identify which are the voids are tetrahedral and which are the voids are octahedral so let's understand the term of it here now okay let's take the second layer second formation of a second layer so the black color line stands for the layer 1 black color spheres the orange color sphere stands for the second layer now what's the description we have written second layer is placed over the void of the first layer now if you look at it here the three spheres you can see in the i mean in the first layer on top of it an orange color sphere is come this sphere is placed in such a way it covers up the void that is shaded by the red color so everywhere the orange color I mean a second layers are covering up the void created by the first layer so now let's draw it separately and see so now this happens to be the first layer for me so in between the two because ab arrangement we have one atom here so this is my first layer the red color ones are standing for the first layer and top of it the second layer comes so second layer what are we saying it here it's placed over the void of the first layer so where is the void here the void is found here so the second layer is formed over the void of the first layer so this type of void which is covered by the second layer is called as a tetrahedral void so i hope i'm making my points clear for you all so the void created by the first layer is covered by the void created laid by the second layer so such type of voids are called as a tetrahedral void now what's the meaning of octahedral void i told you the green color spaces gives possibility to for the formation of an octahedral void now the same structures i'm drawing here one atom here and one atom here and one atom here in ab ab arrangement now when i say octahedral void just see what we are doing it here okay let me draw a little bigger thing so that you will understand it better for a shading okay 
So now there is an atom here. It's covering up one part of the, the space that is available here. There is an atom here. It's covering up another part of the available spaces here. There is an one more atom here. It's covering up another part of the spaces available. In spite of the arrangement of the, this stands for the first layer. The black color one stands for the second layer. In spite of the arrangement, there are little more spaces still made available without occupying by the atom. This empty space or a void is called as an octahedron void. So I am repeating once again. If we arrange the atom in between the spaces found, empty void spaces found. If the arrangement of second layer covers up the whole void, I mean made by the first layer, it's called as a tetrahedron void. If the void created by the second first layer, it's not completely covered by the second layer. If still certain part of it is made exposed or visible, it's called as an octahedron void. So this is what happens in the formation of the second layer. We understand which are the ones gives us tetrahedron void and the octahedral void you will remember very well the same point we have explained it void x is completely covered by the second layer we have seen it in the explanation in the previous class void y is only partially covered this is the meaning of void y so let me just tell you separately this is the void created if we share the atom here it only shares the one part of it here one more atom if you take it shares only the another part of it one more sphere when we have it shares only the another part of it still you can see certain part of the void left as it is so this void is called as an octahedron void so void y is only partially covered by the second layer let's move on to the our point of interest about the layer third layer so layer one creates the two types of void layer two creates the tetrahedron void or octahedral void layer three alone decides whether the packing is a hexagonal closed packing or it's a cubic closed packing now hexagonal closed packing when we say it covers up the tetrahedron void now by now you know what's the meaning of tetrahedron void now when we say CCP arrangement, it covers up the octahedron void. So you can remember HCP when you say, when you show the structures, show that the tetrahedron void is covered up. CCP, cubic close packing when you say octahedron void is covered up. Now it involves the layers, the arrangement is also known as a ABA arrangement, meaning Three layers are involved in it. Between the two A's, one layer of B is involved. Now, in on this case, if you see here, four layers are required. That is, between the two A, how many different layers are required? B and C are required. Now, this structure, I have taken it from this a layer of the first one. Now, if this atom is of, I mean, of my interest, how many neighbors does it have? Six neighbors it has got. So the same structures I have drawn here. Now how many tetrahedral or tetrahedron voids are possible here? One, two and three. So the same way I have marked in both the structures also. Same kind of color of shading is also I have given. Now green color stands for the giving rise to octahedral void. The same thing I have marked here. Now we are talking about the, so the first layer is over. Now second layer, what happens in the second layer? Void created by the first layer is covered by the second layer. So I have drawn with the orange color, same orange color sketch pen I have used to cover up the void created by the first layer. So the first layer is a tetrahedron void created. So the spheres are arranged in such a way tetrahedron void only is covered up so one here in between you can see that color lining so one more atom i have i mean one more at another layer is come here second layer one sphere here one sphere here and one sphere here so if you look at it everywhere tetrahedron void is covered up only partially the octahedron void is covered up and that's the meaning when i told you 
it gives rise to octahedron void the second layer does not cover up the octahedron void certain part of it is still made visible if you look at it here still little more of green space is seen whereas the red color spaces are completely covered by the second layer now in the third layer one more wordings we had taken so the third layer two layers we understand moving on to the third layer third layer is placed directly over the first layer so when we say directly over the first layer what happens we draw a sphere here it's directly placed over it when it placed directly over the first layer what happens here is tetrahedral void of the second layer is covered by the third layer please understand children these are standing for the octahedral void because only partially they are covered the remaining part is exposed octahedral void wherever the green color ink you can see you can remember it as an octahedral void only partially covered not completely covered remember this concept so here also octahedral void is seen now what's the point we have written when we arrange the third layer exactly over the first layer tetrahedral void created by the second layer is covered if all these three are octahedron where do we see the tetrahedral void this stands for the tetrahedral void so when we arrange the even we see or draw one more layer when we say the first this first layer stands for the i mean a stands for the a the second layer stands for the b third layer also when i say for repeated repetition of first layer this is also drawn using the black color in so let me shade this part here so i mean you know, to represent the third layer that's arranged a repetition of a line a layer and just shading this part it will come exactly over the every black sphere it will come into so that's the me so i mean this is how the structure is being drawn all you have to remember is hexagonal close packing when we say third layer is placed exactly over the first layer when we place what happens tetrahedral void created by the second layer is covered by the third layer so that's the meaning of it here understand octahedral voids are left as it is only the tetrahedral void created at the center is covered by the third layer so the arrangement is a b a so a layer b layer this dark color space again stands for the a layer moving on to the how does the third layer gives rise to ccp that is cubic close packing now what's the explanation we have written in the previous class third layer is placed over the second layer here third layer is placed directly over the first layer here it is placed over the second layer in such a way it fits into the octahedral void where do we have the octahedral void look at the green color space that's made available so when we know here also we have to draw the second layer because i forgot to draw the what's the purpose of second layer they cover up the tetrahedron void so every way you draw so that the tetrahedron red color void is completely the part shaded with the red color is completely covered up here red color is visible here so draw in such a way the red color void is completely covered up now here again the red color can be seen here so when you draw it here the red color is further covered up so this stands for the layer a first layer this stands for the second layer that is b now our point of interest is third layer is placed over the second layer in such a way it fits into the octahedral void how many octahedral voids we've got one corner here one here and one here what's the meaning of octahedral the shaded part is not completely covered there still more gap is visible or a void is visible so we have a gap here we have a gap here and we have a gap here so the new layer is arranged to cover up this hole here so let's may let me use some other color ink yeah so i'm covering up the octahedral void so the third layer is covering up the octahedral void over now where else do i have octahedral void here i've got so you draw one more it covers up the octahedral void 
this fierce happens to be a little mistake and just bear up with me and here again i have a octahedral void so when we draw in this manner okay, this is the meaning of the third layer is arranged over the second layer in such a way it covers up the octahedral void so here it covers up the tetrahedral void in a ccp arrangement it covers up the octahedral void so this is my layer a orange color stands for layer b blue color line stands for the layer c now again in this one if you see what color in shall i use it here now if you see here there is a tetrahedron void how will you identify if i the tetrahedron void if the a triangular shape is pointing upward it's called as a tetrahedral void so to cover up this what is being which layer is being repeated a layer that's the first layer is being repeated so when we repeat the first layer once again the black color space we can in circle we can draw let me use it by simplifying it by shading it here so these are the little meaning i mean explain extra explanation to understand the concept of the layer now this type of arrangement is found in a face centered cubic unit cell if you remember the face centered cubic unit cell how many faces are there face stands for a side so how many sides are there apart from the atoms at the corner eight corners are there eight corners also has got one one atom in it apart from atoms at the corner each side has got one atom exactly in the middle so all four sides are over if you consider the front side there is an atom in the middle if you consider the back side there is an atom in the middle now in a simple term if you understand look at it here between the two atom one atom is placed between the two atom one atom is placed does it make up to the arrangement of ab ab arrangement between the two one between the two one between the two one so this type of hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing type of arrangement is found in a face centered cubic unit cell thank you